was a search that ended in tragedy when after several days, Davis was found dead. Police would later reveal that her killer was her own husband. Davis had been a teacher at Parkside High School since 1983 and was a favorite among her students. One of those students was Stephanie Fowler, who has written a book about Davis called Chasing Alice. Alice Davis I knew uh, because my son had her for English and he talked about her all the time and talked about how she inspired him to learn. Tell us about your experience with her. Right. Sure, sure. So my experience with Alice was uh, she was my senior year AP English teacher. And I've always loved to write ever since I was a little kid. I was always a voracious reader and writing every chance I could. So I entered her classroom as an eager, young, passionate writer. Um, but that year, I had a really difficult time personally. I was going through a lot. And um, Alice was the only person who noticed that I was struggling. And she, you know, just took me under her wing. She became a mentor to me for my writing, but she also became, you know, kind of a, a safe harbor for me. And she was someone that I could cry to and someone that I could, you know, express some of the things that were kind of going on with me. And, you know, I, I really credit her with helping me get through that year. And when I went off to college, you know, um, I won the Sophie Kerr Prize at Washington College. And like that night, I just, I raced home and went straight to the phone book to call her, to tell her that I had won the prize. And, um, you know, she asked me to come back and speak to her students. So we kind of kept in touch a little bit, you know, over the years. Um, and then ultimately, you know, the worst thing happened. Yeah, and, and that happened, I guess, uh, about a decade or more after your graduation. Uh, do you remember hearing about it? I do. You know, it was really interesting. So I graduated from Parkside High School in 1997, and that Tuesday after the, after the Labor Day, um, you know, we all went to, you know, we were all off for Labor Day, and then we go back to work on Tuesday. And I remember uh, the billing office uh, there were two ladies in the billing office next to my office who were talking about a Parkside teacher that was missing. And honestly, I, I didn't even really think anything of it because I just kind of assumed all the teachers I had by 2011 would have been retired or, you know, it just, it just for some reason, it didn't click. But then um, shortly after that, my phone rang and it was my little sister. And I'll never forget. She said, Steph, have you seen the news? And I said, no, and she said, Alice Davis is missing. And uh, it, it was, I mean, when they say your heart drops into your stomach, I mean, it, it was a terrible moment. It was an awful feeling. And I just knew immediately something really, really wrong had happened to her because, you know, she was the kind of teacher we could set our watch by. I mean, she was a very um, dedicated and, you know, she had, she had a, a, a pace and a rhythm and we all stuck to it. And for her to go missing just made no sense. And I, I just knew something bad had happened to her. And in fact, it had. Yeah. So how long was it before you decided to write about her? I decided to write about it. I think I knew when it happened, it was going to be something I was going to have to write about at some point because that's always been my way of working through my feelings and my experiences. But I didn't really consider writing about it until um, probably maybe a year or two after it happened. I remember there was a moment where um, her sister, Barry Tillman, had asked me to um, deliver a speech at the memorial service and then also to deliver the eulogy at her funeral. And after I did that, and then she uh, called me one day and said, "Hey, if you're if you're around, I'd like to give you a gift for for doing that." And uh, you know, I was very appreciative. And I'll never forget. I was in her kitchen, standing with her in her kitchen, and she said, "You know, when they were dating, mother said nothing good can come of this." And I remember that kind of just stuck in my head, you know, about like a mother's intuition and you know, the, that, that element of foreshadowing that, you know, writers, you know, we often, you know, work into to our, to our pieces. And so that kind of got stuck in my head and I began thinking about it, but it was probably around 2013, 2014 when I decided I wanted to write. And when I initially 
thought I would do it. I thought I would do a long form nonfiction piece about 8,000 to 10,000 words in an essay. But as I got digging into it, I realized there was more to the story that I wanted to tell and I needed more than eight to 10,000 words. So um, I ended up deciding to do an entire book on it. What do you hope readers will take away from this book? You know, I, I really hope that they will take away a sense of who she was to so many of us. Um, one of the reasons why I, I wanted to write the book was when I would mention her name to people, there was all frequently it was like, oh, isn't that that lady that got murdered? Isn't she that teacher that got that disappeared or, or something? And I always hated that she was remembered for her worst day. And I, I, I just wanted something better than that or something at least different. So I hope that people will walk away with a sense of that she was a kind person, she was a smart woman, um, that she gave of herself continually to her students and did so without ever asking for kudos or, you know, a pat on the back. I mean, she was a selfless, dedicated teacher who was loved by many and who still love her. Um, I hope they'll take yeah. that away. And, you know, I think there's also probably a, a, a sense of, you know, the dangers of domestic violence and, and some of those other pieces that I hope, sure. uh, you know, people will pay attention to and, and, and really see because I, I think that's also an important message in the book. The name of the book is Chasing Alice. It will be released next month, but you can pre-order it now. We'll have all that information on our website, delmarvalife.com. The author, Stephanie Fowler. Thank you so much uh, for joining us this afternoon. I look forward to reading the book. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate the opportunity. <laughs>